Hello everyone. In this video, I'll discuss this uh, couple of application maths, which was related to our today's topic. This is actually some in addition to our today's class lecture. This is another additional video. Uh, since the reason is the reason for this video is actually in two of both of the uh, classes we discussed students actually many of you actually asked different different questions so which is not same uh, uh, so that one video covers all of them this is my plan I mean the questions are uh, completely different from one class to another class so so that one video actually covers everything that's the plan let's see how far we can go okay so this is the question this is actually a very important concept this uh, discuss this questions actually the whole thing we have something here I mean from from everything we have few things in this questions and another important thing of this question is actually this question is slightly uh, medium level um, difficulty uh, difficulty level medium so basically that's why in terms of other questions I mean com if you compare other with it with other questions definitely it's not a difficult question uh, compared to yeah, the everything else like if you consider the other things I'm saying just in general so let's look at this question United Parcel Power Service United Parcel Service has contracted uh, to design a closed box with a square base that has volume this cubic inches see the illustration so this is the illustration we can see that this is something like uh, some base we can see here and then some other surface different surfaces so basically kind of like box eh? some box so and our first question is surface uh, express the surface area is of the box as a function of s so we need to express the surface area surface area and to do that let's begin with area equals to what now see if it is a rectangle let's say if it is a rectangle then the answer is simple length into if it is length it is breadth so area is length into breadth or length into width if you say this is width then length into width but this is actually this is not this is not a rectangle in fact there are many rectangles here there is a rectangle down here and there is a rectangle down at this side here I, I I said that this looks like my box actually. I said that this looks like a box actually. So if you see that this box, this is actually a mobile box, mobile cover. This looks like a box. This is C rectangle. Then if you go to this side, then this is another rectangle. This is, if you go to this side, then this is another rectangle. So basically a lot of rectangle here. Actually it's total six rectangles. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6. There are total 6, 6. There are total 6 uh, surface. Okay. So let's try let's let's try to develop some uh, functions which which will give us the some sense. So see the the downside here, this one, this bottom side is x into x. That means x is square. And you will notice that same thing is on the top also, because uh, in a box, downside and top side is same. So two, downside one, upside one, two. Plus, now this left side uh, or right side. This is x. This is y. So x into y means x y. X is the uh, you can say this is you can say this is the like this is the base here and this is the height so base into height this also gives us like this base into height this also give us the area now look this exact same shape let me use another color this exact same same shape actually same shape actually we have here also this 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 is right side this is left side same same and this front and back will also be how do you know because this is y so all the height is y there are four heights here all of them are y and base everywhere is x that's why so that means there are more four there now we have 
another thing, another information given which is called the volume. Volume is 1000 cubic inches. Volume means length, breadth and height. Length into width into height. This equals to volume and volume is given. Actually, we should write here y because it is given y. So, one, uh, 10,000. From here you will get y equal to y equal to 10,000 divided by x into x which is x squared. You can write x into x also, no problem. x into x means x squared. That means this y we have to, we have to replace this y, this instead of this y we have to write this value. Yeah, this value we have to write for the y. So let's write it. So s equal to 2x squared plus 4x and y means this everything, y means this thing. I will explain why we have to write it. I think some of you already got the sense why we have to write it. But I will talk about this. What's wrong? Why we have to write that line? The reason is this question. Question number A said, express the surface area S of the box as a function of x. As a function of x means in this line, only variable can be x. Other than x, anything is not possible. So this is the answer of uh, this is the answer of a number. This is this will be s of x. That means surface area as a function of x. Then b number. For b number c number actually I have uh, we have to use you see there is some symbol here given calculator symbol given. That means we have to use some graphing calculator. If we do not have graphing calculator we can use uh, in the website. So I have. Uh, done it in the website you know there are two websites we frequently use Desmos and symbol app anywhere anyone you want to use you can you, you can use uh, Desmos and symbol app both is symbol app both is working fine so I have uh, uh, used the graph in the website and the answer is this this is the answer this is the graph from the website so let me clear it up actually I should uh, clean this set because this set maybe we will need so we take this. So this is the graph. Now let's see, see there is another side, another graph in this side which we should not consider because this is in the negative side. And our math is a real life math. A real life math means this must be we must consider only the positive side in this case because because in this case question is this is a box negative length of the box, negative width of the box is not meaning any, anything. We cannot say that uh, length of this uh, cell phone is negative 2 centimeter. It doesn't mean anything. Basically, we cannot we cannot construct anything which is negative 2 centimeter. So, positive, only positive side, we have to consider only positive side and positive side is where? Positive side is only here. So, that means only this graph, this part of the graph we have to consider. Now, this is the drawing. This one you will get from the gra uh, online website or graphing calculator. During the exam also if necessary you can use this uh, use this uh, website, use website for uh, constructing this graph. In fact, if you are very uh, meticulous then actually we can draw this graph uh, by, by without, without using the graphing calculator also. There are methods for that because you can do some simplification then you see the vertical asymptote is x equal to 0 which is here then the graph will be this side and that side we know that then just plot some points and draw it basically this is possible but this will take time that's why uh, graphing calculator or, uh, or or mechanism or this uh, that that's a useful coming back to the question question number three and four is i can say question number three is actually what is the minimum surface area yeah. So minimum surface area is what is the value of minimum surface area? So that will be this value, this y value. That will be this value. This is the 
minimum surface area this is the actually this point at this point y value that will be the minimum surface area which is this so b number answer is b number question answer is this this is the minimum surface area actually this is uh, this is somewhat looks like uh, actually this value here if you directly copy it here so uh, <laughs> you will not do it just just saying so 100 yeah this is actually this there is a decimal there is a multiply sign here it's not it's not coming correctly this is actually this value is actually 600 into 10 to the power 2 by 3 hmm, so this value is this so this is the value of c number and d number question asks what is the dimension of that box the dimension of this box is the dimension of this box is dimension means what is the length what is the width and what is the height of the box so length width and height of the box is actually length is first of all for the minimum surface area length is this so we know that because this is the x value and x is our uh, on the base you know that that was our x this is this is our x in the figure this was the x so basically this is the x value which is 10 uh, then cube root of 10 in fact this is also x in, my, in our question so that is another x that means length and width both is 10 cube root of 10 both is both is same both is same and interestingly you see this is the value of y this is the value of y as you know this is the value of y we have put the value of y here which is the height in fact if you put this and and x squared the height is 10,000 divided by x squared and if you put this value 10 cube root of 10 down here and if you do this calculation the calculator you will see y answer will also come same 10, 10 cube root of 3 y value will also be same uh, 10 cube root of 10 so basically this is the uh, length width and height all are same that is the answer of the d number question this is the dimension dimension means for this uh, for this box the dimension means length width and height what is the value of length width and height so that's the length width and height and c number question answer is this what is the this actually this is better all right so that's the this is actually from our participation quiz participation quiz oh my god this is so um anyway so uh, this is from the participation quiz so this is the explanation about that Let's go to our uh, another question that uh, I will discuss another two questions which um, let me first clear it up. So another question that has been asked in the during the class is I think this question yes yeah this question. In one class, uh, people ask this question. In another class, people ask another question to discuss. So this is a rectangular, uh, a rectangular area adjacent to a river. Adjacent to a river is to be fenced. A rectangular area adjacent to a river is to be fenced. No fence is needed on the river side. The enclosed area is to be one thousand square feet. Fencing for the side, fencing for the side parallel to the river is this. Okay. So, let's let's just start working with this. Let x be the length of one side perpendicular to the river. Actually, I can do this because it's written here, or I can actually without this also I can try to solve it here. So, see this is what x is x be the side of perpendicular to the river. So this is the river. Perpendicular to the river means this side. This is x. As this is x so this also must be x now since since uh, since this is 1000 square feet this is the area total area so it must be so now we know that what will be this side because total area is 1000 we know that area equal to length into breadth so we have one thing so actually we can find out the length length equal to will be 1000 divided by x this value divided by x why the reason is suppose if you have a box eh, suppose total area is let's say let's say total area is 20, 
20 and one side is suppose one side is 5 so other side is what 20 divided by 5 so it will be 100 divided 1000 divided by x this is this this is this uh, uh, length now we need to find out some some we need to find out some just just give me uh, 30 10 seconds let me some people are waiting let me tell them that i'm busy i'm busy now i'm busy now after 20 minutes okay. all right so we need to find out some cost function c of x c of x equals to now see this is the this side is x and what is the cost for this side this is the parallel to the river is 5 that means parallel to the river is this side parallel to the river we can write that also so 5 into 1000 divided by x and then other side is other side is 8 so this side is 8 so this will be plus 8 into x but there is x this side and x this side so two times so into 2 then plus there are you see, you, will, you will notice there are like four corner for corner post is 25 dollar a piece that means one post is 25 dollar so <coughs> so four post four post is 100 dollar 25 into 4 equal to 100 dollar so this is the cost function this is the cost function now you can do some simplification which is like uh, let's say 5005 into this equal to 5000 this into 2 equals to 2 into 8 equal to um, 18 uh, 16 then you can just do it then says what is the question number b a b is what is the domain of c so this is the c of x what is the domain of c now uh, look this is somewhat some kind of uh, function which if you if you look at this in fact if you if we write one more line then it will make more sense say this 5 into 1 triple 0 how many zeros I give triple 0 1 2 3 there will be 1 0 less 1000 so this will be 5000 5000 plus 16x plus 16x square because x into x means x square plus 1000 x now to find our domain this is important to write it at least in some rational function uh, if it is polynomial function then this is easier but we have in the rational function we have two polynomial one is up one is down this value is saying x cannot be equals to zero and we know that x cannot be equals to negative also because this is x is some real value so x cannot be negative also so x has to be positive so yeah, and and this is a this is a quadratic function if you solve this quadratic function you will see some values will come and everywhere x is possible because you know the quadratic for the quadratic function if you solve in the both side it has uh, it, it, it it extends in the both side so basically you can write uh, the domain of this function is x is greater than 0 this is the domain of this function the reason why we do not uh, the reason why this is so is we can solve this and we will get different uh, two different value but which is the x intercept that will give us actually x intercept but in the quadratic function you know wherever the graph is suppose the graph is here and then the then the graph will continue for continue this direction forever of course this direction also it will go but negative direction will not count because it is a real life application math so that means from more than 0 to plus infinity everything is possible for this question so x is greater than 0 is the domain for this question you can actually use uh, you can actually put this function in some graphing calculator also you will see the graph will go like 
uh, the graph will go in the positive direction forever, which means that all real number greater than zero is the domain. This is actually I thought about this math actually more, and I thought like what how it is possible like all real number how it is possible, and this is actually possible. Suppose our area total area is one thousand. Okay, you you can do some thought experiment about this one thousand. Suppose one thousand is our area. The condition only condition is our area has to be one thousand in this math. So how can we get one thousand? See, I can write here one hundred. <coughs> sorry and i can write here 10 so 10 into 100 equals to 1000 which is fine or i can write here 10 here 100 that is also 1000 now i can write here 1000 and write here 1 1 into 1000 equal to again 1000 now technically i can write here 2000 also see if i write here 2000 then i have to write here half 1 by 2 that means 2000 is also possible we can make uh, we can make 2000 we can make it we can make it like that also 2000 into half equal to 1000 this way you can continue you can make it like 8000 10000 1 million billion quadrillion doesn't matter and you have to give this side some smaller value uh, whatever the value you give that value you have to give here and this will make the question valid if you want to do the thought experiment, this will make more sense. And uh, and directly from the equation, if you want to derive, this is like okay, x is greater than zero. This way, this way it will come. All right. So and the b no c number and d number is uh, obvious, kind of easier. Use the graphing utility to grab this function and find the dimension of the cheapest enclosure, which is like uh, you you will we will use this. We will use this function, this function to uh, for some graphing calculator. If we use that, then our graph will be like this. And we know that for this x value, our uh, cost is cheapest. This is the cost, and this is the x value for which cost is cheapest. So basically, we know that we know them this way. So in another class, some students actually asked about this question. They say they felt this question is difficult. So let's discuss this question now. This question is related to some company who, uh, who that company is trying to make some cylindrical shape, some cylindrical shape here. That company is trying to make it with a capacity of this cubic centimeter and the top and bottom area can be made of the aluminum level. So there is two different calculations here. Top and bottom is one calculation and downside is another and side is another calculation. This is some, some kind of cylinder. Do I have any cylinder here? Do I have any cylinder here? Uh, there are a lot of things actually I can see here which, is, which looks like cylinder. Let me, let me show you. Cylindrical shape means somewhat like this actually. This is some cleaner, glass cleaner, uh, some liquid cleaner, not good quality. So this is like some cylindrical shape, but without this, without this top. If you consider, if you consider like, if you consider this side and there is same side up, this is like cylinder shape. So there is bottom side here and upside here. And in the bottom side, this is circular. See, this is, there is a circle here. This is a circle here. And same circle will be on the top, top side. There will be same circle here. So this is the cylinder shape, and you will see same picture now. We will we can we can actually analyze from this question same picture, same uh, shape. See same shape came here. There is a circular part on the top, circular part on the bottom, and area of the circular part is pi r square. Yeah, so another pi r square is up, and area of the lateral side. Lateral side means the sideways. Lateral side means sideways. This 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 side. This is the lateral side. This. This side is the lateral side. So area of the lateral side is uh, lateral side is this. So this. So total area is what? That's the that's the question. So to total area, total surface area is what? Total surface area is what? Total surface area will be sum of this plus sum of this, this plus this plus this. 
into their respective cost yeah, that will be the total, total surface area cost total cost cost function for that for that for that uh, entire surface we do not only need the surface area we need the cost for making it because portion is the cost of the material for the can as a function for the radius r of the can so basically this is how we can develop this function how can we develop this function we can write pi r square suppose if you write pi r square pi r square then there is another pi r square in the downside it means multiplied by 2 then for pi r square for the circular part what is the cost the top and bottom is 0 0.05 cents so into 0 0.05 in this way then plus this set 2 pi r h this is the area uh, this is the surface area of curved surface this is the curved surface area or lateral surface area into into this 0 0.02 cents and uh, but there is another thing which is called the cubic uh, the capacity the volume the cylinders volume is given which is 5 500 cubic centimeters so actually we can use the volume formula pi r square h equal to this then from there we can find out the h equal to what and we can put the value of h in this question to to represent the whole function as a uh, as a function of r so 2 pi r h equal to 2 pi r a, uh, pi r square h pi r square let me write it oh volume is written here pi r square h so this equals to 5 500 this equals to 500 so h equal to what h equal to what you can find out it here and then put the value of h why you have to write because they said function of r our answer has to be only r that's why we need to do this calculation and so yeah this calculation is done here substitution is done here shown here and if we want to find out if we want to find out uh, see there is a vertical asymptote there is some this vertical asymptote is here and uh, what happens if we go closer to the vertical asymptote that kind of questions are here also what happens actually the uh, if vertical asymptote is vertical asymptote is r equal to 0 so this is the vertical asymptote this will be the vertical asymptote and if you come closer to the vertical asymptote in other words if you come closer if the value of r becomes r comes closer to 0 then cost increases the reason is what this is very interesting thought experiment in this map there is also another thought experiment in this map see there is some some amount of liquid here inside it there is some amount of liquid here so suppose i give you this task that uh, you need to fill up you need to fill up this 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 thing with the same amount of liquid i need same amount of liquid but my radius radius of this bottom side and top side radius will be lower and lower and lower suppose radius is let's say now suppose radius is now suppose one centimeter or two centimeter let's say i think it will be, suppose its uh, radius is two centimeter now i'm saying the radius will be 0 0.00000005 centimeter so 0 0.00005 it doesn't matter it's a very small value very 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 small value now if the radius is so small then the the whole cylinder will be very thin very narrow just like a wire it will become and then my condition was what my condition was you have to fill same amount of liquid there then your cylinder will be very large and it will be costly for you to make that kind of cylinder because some like uh, cost uh, length a cylinder of length Dhakato this much length of cylinder which is insane because why why it is so insane because the radius i am now decreasing why how much i am decreasing there is no boundary i am decreasing like close to zero that's why my length the height is increasing in this case i said Dhakato and it can it can go beyond cost will increase if we go if we give that's why if radius becomes zero radius is this side actually this x-axis is radius 
you can see so it becomes more so this is the function what is the value of r result in list cost first r is 3.146 the first value is r what is the list cost second value is the list cost when you have the graph the math is easy okay and suppose how do i know that first value is r second value is cost how do i know that because uh, if you do not know if you do not understand compare it with our normal equation normal equation is what normal equation is y equal to y equal to something x so this is x actually instead of x we write here r yeah, that means r means x here so that means it, this is actually x this is actually x value yeah, x value of course you can see and, and it represents r here and this side is cost here this side is cost here okay this side is cost here so this is the two questions actually that uh, you people asked during the class and let me uh, also another uh, another people ask me uh, this question like how our grades will be calculated so the answer is uh, you from the participation 10% marks will come from the participation 20% marks will come from the lesson participation means for every lesson there is a quiz given for from that quiz 10% marks will come 20% marks will come from the homework I am giving some homework use as you can see uh, homework 3 is given and homework 4 uh, is in the progress in progress I will, I will, I will um, shortly announce the this this homework 4 from there 20% marks will come that means from all the homework not from one homework of course and I'll give more or less I think six homeworks total this is my plan uh, something more or less and 20% will come from the homework then 40% will come from the quizzes we will we will take total three quiz and based of two quiz will be counted from there 20 40% marks will come and then remaining 30% marks will come from the final term so this is how our course is uh, designed this exact same information we have written in the syllabus also you can you can look at the syllabus uh, if you need more um, clarification this this everything is written actually in the syllabus um, syllabus part and syllabus is actually you will have it in our Google Classroom also in some previous like at the beginning uh, we I uploaded the syllabus in the Google Classroom also yes Google Classroom also so that's it I think that's all I think that's all and thank you all thank you very much have a good day bye